Hi everyone, we are going to have a listening practice today, which is based on one of my favorite Game of Thrones scenes, where Tywin and Jaime Lannister are discussing the future of their family. So I divided that video into four parts and added subtitles to make it easier. After watching each part, I'm going to give you some vocabulary from the video. And I'll also give you some examples using new words in sentences. Then we are going to watch the whole video without subtitles. And at the end, we will do some exercises to practice the new vocabulary. All you need is a notebook and a pen or any kind of device to take some notes. So if you are ready, let's get it started. <laughs> Summoned to court to answer for the crimes of your bannerman, Gregor Clegane, the mountain. Uh, arrive within the fortnight, I'll be branded an enemy of the crown. Poor Ned Stark, brave man, terrible judgment. Attacking him was stupid. Lannisters don't act like fools. You're going to say something clever? Go on, say something clever. Catelyn Stark took my brother. So, our first word is summon, which means to officially tell someone to be in a particular place or to officially arrange a meeting. News from the European branch was so dreadful that the manager summoned a conference in the middle of the night. Or the president, due to the recent earthquake, summoned an emergency meeting of his advisors. The president, due to the recent earthquake, summoned an emergency meeting of his advisors. The next word is within which means inside something or somebody. For example, do you hear the noise? It seems to be coming from within the garage. Do you hear the noise? It seems to be coming from within the garage. The word brand is used as a verb here. And in this context, it means to apply a name, image or identity to something. For example, Despite the lack of evidence, they have been branded as human traffickers. Despite the lack of evidence, they have been branded as human traffickers. Or media branded him a villain. Media branded him a villain. The next word is fortnight, which means two weeks. For example, they called me five times in the past fortnight. They called me five times in the past fortnight. How much it would cost to stay in a hotel for a fortnight? How much it would cost to stay in a hotel for a fortnight? Why is he still alive? Tyrion? Ned Stark. One of our men interfered, speared him through the leg before I could finish him. Why is he still alive? It wouldn't have been clean. Clean? You spend too much time worrying about what other people think of you. I could care less what anyone thinks of me. You know, that's what you want people to think of you. It's the truth. When you hear them whispering Kingslayer behind your back, doesn't it bother you? Of course it bothers me. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. I suppose I should be grateful that your vanity got in the way of your recklessness. The first word of the second part of the video is interfere. Interfere means when you involve in a situation even if you are not helpful and nobody wanted it. For example, Kid, never interfere in other people's relationship, okay? <coughs> it's their problem. 
and I'm not going to interfere. It is their problem and I'm not going to interfere. Here you can see a spear. Spear is a noun and as a verb it means to push, push or throw, throw a spear into somebody or something. For example, catching the fish with a net is a hard job. Imagine catching it by spearing. Catching the fish with a net is a hard job. Imagine catching it by spearing. The next phrase is from Jamie's speech when he said it would not have been clean. It would not have been clean. Here he used the past modal verb would have. Would have. We usually use it to talk about an imaginary past and what could have happened but never did. In other words, we are imagining a past that never happened. What are you doing? I would have killed you. It means I didn't, but if something had happened differently, you could have been killed. Or if the film was interesting, I would have watched it until the end. And I hope you noticed that after would have, we usually use past participle. Past participle is a third form of the verb, like be, was, were, been. Become, became, become. Catch, caught, caught. But if it's a regular verb, we just add ed in the end. Like, liked. Love, loved. Jump, jumped. Scream, screamed. And so on. If the film was interesting, I would have watched it until the end. If the film was interesting, I would have watched it until the end. Do you know what does whisper mean? This is whisper. I'm whispering right now. And if someone talks like me, that person is also whispering. For example, hey John, look at me. Why are you whispering? It's just the two of us here. Why are you whispering? It's just the two of us here. We use the noun vanity to say that someone is too interested in his or her achievement or appearance. It basically means that you love getting praised and being famous. So this is why you achieve something or do your job. For example, if someone uses steroids, he is motivated by vanity. If someone uses steroids, he is motivated by vanity. You buy a new car to show everyone that you can? It's pure vanity. You buy a new car to show everyone that you can? It's pure vanity. Recklessness is a kind of behavior when you don't think about the risks and the result of your actions. For example, I had a car accident yesterday and that was a result of recklessness. I had a car accident yesterday and that was a result of recklessness. I'm giving you half of our forces, 30,000 men. We will bring them to Catelyn Stark's girlhood home and remind her that Lannisters pay their debts. I didn't realize you placed such a high value on my brother's life. He's a Lannister. He might be the lowest of the Lannisters, but he's one of us. And every day that he remains a prisoner, the less our name commands respect. So the lion does concern himself with the opinions no, of... No, that's not an opinion. It's a fact. If another house can seize one of our own and hold him captive with impunity, we are no longer a house to be feared. Your mother's dead. Before long, I'll be dead. And you, and your brother, and your sister, and all of her children. All of us dead, all of us rotting in the ground. It's the family name that lives on. It's all that lives on. Not your personal glory, not your honor, but family. Do you understand? Girlhood means the time when a person is a girl 
and the girlhood home of Caitlin Stark is a place where she used to live when she was a girl. Seize, which is a verb by the way, means to take somebody or something by force and hold it. For example, a group of thieves seized the building. A group of thieves seized the building. Or police officers seized the offender in a minute. Police officers seized the offender in a minute. And if you hold somebody captive, it means you keep him as a prisoner. For example, they have been holding enemy soldiers captive for a year. They have been holding enemy soldiers captive for a year. If you say that somebody does something with impunity, you mean that somebody breaks the law, does something bad or something like that and get away with it without any punishment. For example, corrupted mayor continues taking bribes with impunity. Corrupted mayor continues taking bribes with impunity. Or criminals are living in our city and doing their business with impunity. Criminals are living in our city and doing their business with impunity. And the last word from that part is rot, which means to decay slowly or cause something to decay. For example, apples and bananas can rot over time. Apples and bananas can rot over time. You're blessed with abilities that few men possess. You're blessed to belong to the most powerful family in the kingdoms. And you're still blessed with youth. And what have you done with these blessings, huh? You've served as a glorified bodyguard for two kings. One a madman, the other a drunk. The future of our family will be determined in these next few months. We could establish a dynasty that will last a thousand years. Or we could collapse into nothing, as the Targaryens did. I need you to become the man you were always meant to be. Not next year, not tomorrow. Do you remember the phrase, served as a glorified bodyguard? It's from the video, by the way. So, if you are honored and praised by people, government, king or queen, then you are glorified. For example, Marcus Aurelius was one of the most glorified Roman emperors. Marcus Aurelius was one of the most glorified Roman emperors. Or he was so glorified that even the king was afraid of his authority. Determine means to make a strong decision. When Tywin said that the future of our family will be determined, he meant that the future of his family will be decided as a result of some actions. For example, the forthcoming meeting will determine the future of our company. The forthcoming meeting will determine the future of our company. And the last word is collapse. Collapse means to fall down suddenly or fail suddenly or completely. The system that had been created in 10 years collapsed in an hour. The system that had been created in 10 years collapsed in an hour. Or, after receiving several wounds, the knight collapsed and succumbed to death. 
After receiving several wounds, the knight collapsed and succumbed to death. And now guys, I want you to pause the video and download the worksheet in the description of this video. Then take a minute to read all the questions and replay the video to do exercises. Are you ready? Let's start then. Summon to court to answer for the crimes of your bannerman, Gregor Clegane, the mountain. Uh, arrive within the fortnight, I'll be branded an enemy of the crown. Poor Ned Stark, brave man, terrible judgment. Attacking him was stupid. Lannisters don't act like fools. You gonna say something clever? Go on, say something clever. Catelyn Stark took my brother. Why is he still alive? Tyrion? Ned Stark. One of our men interfered, speared him through the leg before I could finish him. Why is he still alive? It wouldn't have been clean. Clean? You spend too much time worrying about what other people think of you. I could care less what anyone thinks of me. You know, that's what you want people to think of you. It's the truth. When you hear them whispering Kingslayer behind your back, doesn't it bother you? Of course it bothers me. A lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of the sheep. I suppose I should be grateful that your vanity got in the way of your recklessness. I'm giving you half of our forces. 30,000 men. We will bring the cattle in Stark's girlhood home and remind her that Lannisters pay their debts. I didn't realize you placed such a high value on my brother's life. He's a Lannister. He might be the lowest of the Lannisters, but he's one of us. And every day that he remains a prisoner, the less our name commands respect. So the lion does concern himself with the opinions no, of No, that's the... not an opinion, it's a fact. If another house can seize one of our own and hold him captive with impunity, we are no longer a house to be feared. Your mother's dead. Before long, I'll be dead. And you, and your brother, and your sister, and all of her children. All of us dead. All of us rotting in the ground. It's the family name that lives on. It's all that lives on. Not your personal glory, not your honor, but family. Do you understand? You're blessed with abilities that few men possess. You're blessed to belong to the most powerful family in the kingdoms. And you're still blessed with youth. And what have you done with these blessings, huh? You've served as a glorified bodyguard for two kings. One a madman, the other a drunk. The future of our family will be determined in these next few months. We could establish a dynasty that will last a thousand years, or we could collapse into nothing, as the Targaryens did. I need you to become the man you were always meant to be. Not next year, not tomorrow.
All right, guys, now download the second file where I give you answers with time codes. Check your answers, please, and then watch the rest of the video to know your mark. So, if you have 10 correct answers, then you get A+. Plus. You get A for 9 correct answers, 7, 8 answers for B, 5, 6 is C, and from 1 to 4 is D. So, what is your mark? Share it with me so I can congratulate you or guide you if you need my advice. So, this is the end, guys. We practiced listening today and I hope you liked it. If so, share your opinion with me in the comment section below, like this video and subscribe to my channel. And of course, I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.